guys, it's Alara here. Today, I'll be showing you how to make some cool, stylish, and hidden places to store your doll things. Also, check out my cool purse. We have all of those cool doll accessories that tend to get stolen and stole quickly by our siblings for their dolls. So today, I'll be showing you a couple of ways to store your doll accessories. And of course, mostly hidden. First up is the cup. First, grab a couple of your accessories, whatever you want. Clothes, shoes, food, purses, whatever. Make sure that it's not filled to the top. Good enough so that if someone was to look from a good enough distance, they'd think it's empty. Make sure to use a plastic cup. If you don't have any, it's okay to use regular cups sometimes. Then take a marker, pin whatever white on the cup on all sides. Do not touch very big so that they can see it clearly. And it's most likely that they won't touch it because they'll think that it's something important in them. And if you have two family members, they won't go looking in your privacy. Then, sorry about that. Then you clear some space behind your messy dollhouse and you place it there. If you want, you can place something on top of it. It'd be like it isn't even there from a certain distance. If you have any of these little boxes, uh, around your house that nobody seems to use. It could be from your mom's birthday. You see that she never uses it. You ask her, she says, yeah, so boom. You can also use jewelry boxes you never use and stuff. And you would think that somebody has something in it, like makeup or something. But really, it's all your cool doll accessories. He wouldn't even notice it was in there. It's a really obvious place, but it's also a very hidden place at the same time. Then, all you gotta do is put the cap on. Especially if you got a box for your birthday. People will take your stuff from your birthday and be like, Oh, I'm not gonna mess with that. That's just mean. Especially with their birthday. And boom, you the hidden doll stuff. And when no one's around, take the lid off. Take all your stuff out. And no one even noticed. Boom. You can use a purse or a wallet. Just take a small, cute little purse. Not very po many pockets. Just a purse to walk around in. And start stuffing it. Make sure that it is zipped up. Place it over by your dresser or or hang it on your closet doorknob or anything. And people think it's just a purse with stuff in it, like makeup, tissue to go to church and stuff. And they won't even open it and think that there's stuff inside. They just leave it alone. You can also use a glue box. You know where you get those glue sticks in the little boxes? Well, tear that piece right off. Get rid of the edges and just leave the hard part of the edge. And you can use this to store your purses in because of these little, like, edge things that your stuff will stand up. You can store purses. You can store coffee and stuff in it. I wouldn't store that small things in because it will move on, around a lot. Store these cute jump shoes. I prefer this for purses and shoes only. Now, you can stand your shoes up and make them look neat, because they do stay in if you stand them up, but we're just doing this sloppy. And then you can take it over to where you store your doll stuff, and boom. Now, this isn't hidden, but it's just a place to keep all your stuff, in case nobody ever steals your stuff or anything. Just a little storage space idea. Especially if you like to recycle and reuse old boxes, this is a perfect idea. And you could just place it in your doll's room next to their little shelf for all their work and stuff, and boom. Also, a wallet is a really good idea. Because if you have one of those wallets with a bunch 
a pocket in the, that is absolutely perfect. Great place to store your stuff, especially to have that big open pocket like this. It's a perfect place to store your stuff in. And people would think it's just your wallet, but secretly pack another wallet. So, yeah. So they think that's, so that's the real wallet, but this is the fake one. This, and you can just layer it out around wherever you want to be like, oh, this is your wallet, uh, whatever. What is really all the treasures? The stuff inside. Now this is not a hidden a hidden way, but it's a way to just store your stuff. Now this is a little food box from like John, Long John Silver's. You can start collecting these and placing your stuff in them, like your doll shoes, um, some of their food and um, some of their drinks. Just find a drink real quick. Here we go, coffee. And you can store, like, little handbags and wallets and stuff. Really good idea. Or, if you don't want to use that, and if you're one of those people who made that DIY large pool, this would be a perfect floaty for one of your little kid dolls. Or, you can turn it into a bed for them, just to do a little bit of sprucing up to the box. Yeah, I just threw her. <laughs> Or you can make it um, a place to store all your dolls' outdoor accessories for their kids, like hula hoops and skate skateboards and stuff for outside play as storage. That's a really good idea. <laughs> I often throw things around. That's why my room is so messy. Well, we like what mess? The only mess is this 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 stuff back there. Is where the mess happens. Now, this is my favorite way to store my doll accessories. This cute fuzz box. And literally, all you need to make it is only two things. Well, four. A small cereal box, scissors, Elmer's glue, and pom-poms. So what I did was glued three large pom-poms on top and three little pom-poms on the bottom. Then I took those gigantic pom-poms, and I just used scissors to cut them, and put on some Elmer's glue, and I just placed on little bit, bits of fur piece by piece, and it takes a, a, a while to dry, about a day, but it's totally worth it, because look at this, it's so cute. Now, the fur tends to get a little bit messy, see a little piece just dropped right there, so be careful with putting this wet, like shaking it everywhere. Because the fur might come off. The same goes with a rug. Just cut a piece of paper. And then you glue those pom-pom fur on it. It's a cute little rug. It's my favorite DIY ever. And oh, it's a cool place to store your doll's purses. And their shoes. And also, it's small enough to fit in your doll's room. So, they could just reach in for their stuff and it's also really cute especially for um a pink room well it doesn't matter what color you make it last but not least is a bubble bottle you can use bubble bottles or deodorant bottles i prefer bubble bottles that are clear you can see the inside because it's so much cooler now this is um not probably not a good place to store your purses because, one, it probably would, where it fit in, two, it probably gets stuck inside. But it's the perfect place to store your dolls, heels, and shoes. Now, I prefer heels because they're less likely to get stuck at the very bottom of the jar. And you have to, like, get a long boot, stick your finger in it, and just, just dig it out. It's pretty easy to do that, but I don't like to. So, I prefer just sticking to the small shoes and not the big boots like these these tend to get stuck at the bottom a lot so i prefer just little things you can also put the little handbags into it depends on what size they are 
And then you just put the lid back on, and you can see all the cute little accessories in there. And you can place it in your doll's room. And it looks so, so cute. This is my second favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope your dolls enjoyed it too for their stuff. And tell me if this works with your stuff not getting stolen as often. And make sure to leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. Really help me out. And I'll see you guys next time.